Hello and welcome everybody into the next part of our Halloween folio creation. I hope you all got downloaded all those free printables. If you didn't download it yet, please go to have a look to the description box below. There is a link where you can find all these uh, Halloween background papers and also the circles, decorative circles for Halloween. They are uh, for free, so I hope you will enjoy them. And I'm going to continue with this Halloween folio. I hope you will enjoy this part. And we're going to continue when we left in the previous part. So working through to the journal, I'm trying to put uh, some nice pages together to make a good basic layout and then I will have much more easy work uh, with decorating. So I'm going to show you, uh, like here, I know I'm missing that orange. So on these two pages, I will be adding small bits and pieces of that orange color and I will show you everything what I did till now. And here I know it's quite dark on this spot. I do have that spider paper here because I do have that spider paper here and I want to continue in that row of these papers. So from this I'm going to create pocket on this pocket. So it will be like pocket on the pocket with another pocket. <laughs> so and another pocket. So with this thinking I'm preparing my papers. <clears throat> And uh, what I did here, because I do have this beautiful printing, that Halloween print in that uh, kind of like ivory, ivory color. So to match it all together, I do have stripe, stripe paper here. I do have that stripe paper here. Here I accidentally cut it, this background paper smaller. I had there about half inch here gap. So what I did instead of cutting new paper, I cut that paper on the half, extend that one sheet or one piece with this stripe paper. I'm gonna create a pocket from this. This I can glue down. And then from this I'm gonna create a pocket and it will go kind of all together, you know, with those stripes. So it will start to match together. And here I just wanna show you <coughs> I'm gonna continue with same paper like I do have here to kind of make it all wo all work together. Here I need to have print on this side, so I'm not gonna draw it here. I need to place it this way. How I will glue it? Then I will flip it over and draw the pattern. <coughs> Pardon me. And I need to count. Also, I'm gonna cut off this white strip. So that will be my starting point, the pattern. And I also need to count that here I want to have kind of like nice frame all around. So I will be moving a little bit my paper. So I'm going to slide it back till the end. Here I'm going to place it exactly on the edge. I'm going to start to draw that pattern. And here I'm going to move that paper a little bit. <clears throat> I would like to have there about uh, this big that frame around. So from here I can draw down this shape and I'm gonna go here and I need to move now that paper back to that first position because if you will notice I do have that frame on this side and this side. This is bigger than this one, than that that inside. This shape is bigger than this shape here. So with that moving paper first here on this position, I started to have this curve here. And now I need to extend this one. So that's why I'm moving that paper back. And I'm kind of extending this space. And I'm gonna draw. Probably somewhere here. And now I'm gonna move that paper again back and I'm gonna find this curve what I draw here before. So I'm gonna make the same position and draw here that rest of my paper. Because that spot here, this one, it's shorter than this one. See, it's smaller, this 
top right here. So with that moving zigzag, I made my drawing smaller than it's that. I'm going to show you. See, it's going a little bit early down this spot. So I'm going to cut it off. So now we can have a look. And I am exactly how I need it. I do have small frame all around. So I do have that small piece here and I want to add there this uh, envelope and I don't want to have this visible so before I will glue it down first I will glue that envelope around and then I will glue it all on the right position. So I'm gonna continue with simple layering of my papers. I do have nearly done uh, every single of these openings, I mean that base placing of my uh, decorative papers and I will go step by step through to that uh, through to those pages once I will start to do those finishing touches I just want to show you one more time how you can think about your papers especially about those, the scraps of your papers so uh, I do have here these off cuts I do have this paper which I would like to use I didn't use this paper yet and I would like to use with this paper these of cuts I do have printed one more with this uh, script or you know those words and these papers I need to put somehow here on this opening and I would like to create there some pockets again but just some simple pockets because in there or on it I can then create something a little bit complicated if I will want so and I want to use also those scraps especially those scraps so as a main page here will be these uh, spiders and uh, I would like to create these spiders also uh, as a pocket so first I'm gonna cut these two papers in the size of my file folder slightly smaller. My printer is printing my papers with this uh, wide frame around. It's one quarter of inch, so that's that's for me kind of like a uh, navigator. I'm gonna put my paper on the edge of my file folder. Here I'm gonna make a small mark where is finishing my uh, file folder here. And I'm going to be cutting these two papers in the same size. So once I will cut off that frame, I know my papers in are a little bit smaller than this. And that's actually what I need. So both of them I'm going to cut where I made that mark. And I'm going to be using these two of cuts as well. Oh yeah, I want to have it this way, so I will make a mark somewhere. So I'm going to place my paper about one eighth of inch from the fold to keep that uh, frame around. And I'm going to make a mark here is my spine, so I can see where the spine is. And I'm going to make a mark a little bit next to that spine. Again, in that size of the frame which I will have here. I'm making mark here. And I'm going to cut my paper in that size. And I do have my first paper cut it in the size where I can still see the frame around. So that's first. This second one, I'm going to slide it behind. Till the end I'm, I still have here that white frame which is perfect because once I will cut it off I will have that paper slightly smaller so I'm gonna place my paper here and I'm gonna cut this paper exactly how is this page including that tab so first I'm gonna move that paper on the edge here and draw the tab
because I need this decorative paper slightly smaller here to fit it into that size. Now I'm gonna move that paper about one quarter of inch to this side, side, keep it still stuck here and I'm gonna finish the shape of the top. So now I know how to cut this paper so I'm gonna follow my cutting as you can see I do have really nice frame all around so now I know I can cut just that edge my second base done so this will be two basic papers which I will see when I will open this uh, this page and to make it nice for look, uh, I would like to get this paper here. It's kind of make it like it's continuing all together. And I would like to add there also a little bit different paper, which is this one. To mix and match it, but to make it complete. As you can see, this paper, it's not big enough to fill all that spot. And that's totally okay, because I don't need to fill all that spot. I need just a part. So I'm gonna draw on this paper this shape. I'm gonna make exactly the same like I did before. So I'm gonna put that paper uh, here. The print, similar, same way how is the shape of that top and draw the pattern here. gonna draw the top. I know that top have to be smaller on this patterned paper than is here so I'm gonna move that top kind of like inside about one quarter of inch and finish drawing here and then continue till the kind of till the end. Now uh, I'm gonna move that paper till the end here kind of a little bit let it a little bit peeking out to make sure here I'm following my drawing and draw the pattern inside and as you can see, I forgot to say, sorry, uh, I do have cut the paper already on these sides, uh, in the size where I can see part of that background page. So I know here, uh, my des designed paper, it's already smaller in the size I need here. So I can see part of my file folder from both sides. So I just need to cut this. <coughs> So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the pattern I just draw. And if I will have a look, I do have, yeah, I know here I did, didn't cut <laughs> perfectly, but that rest I do have quite nicely done uh, with all that frame around. I don't need this top here, so I can cut it slightly smaller. paper will be here and now to kind of like continuing or putting 
all together. I'm going to grab this, <coughs> cut it in the size I need to create kind of over decoration. And I'm going to be using this one for the pocket. And I also do have strip of the paper I've got here underneath. So this I can use uh, to create a extra decoration on my pocket. So I'm going to cut first this one. Now I'm going to measure how big piece I would like to have here. So I'm thinking about two and three quarter of inch pocket. So I'm going to cut that in the size two and three quarter. That will be here. Now this strip I'm going to glue on this paper. It will reinforce the edge and it will make that, you know, that step between. I can add the sewing effect. So I made my sewing. First sewing wasn't, <laughs> that was kind of like a mistake that this, this line, I forgot to set up my, <laughs> my sewing machine and it started to sew quite far from edge, but I actually like it, this double, <laughs> double sewing. <laughs> And in between, I added a zigzag stitching, just, you know, just to add there some decorative element. So now I can glue it down. Oh, first I will, I should glue this one, actually. <laughs> that will be good to start with it. So I'm going to glue this paper first. And really very easy. These first layouts should be easy to do something what you will enjoy and what will don't take... Um, long time it, either it will take a long time but what will don't get you stressed out what will be kind of relaxing to do easy to do so I do have my first paper now on it I'm gonna glue this as a pocket so I'm not gonna put glue on this side but I will put glue on all those three other sides I'm gonna keep those threads peeking out because for a Halloween project the threads all around they are actually very beautiful very decorative or I like it I mean not everyone have to like it of course And I'm gonna let this dry. So I clip it with paper clips to make sure it will hold for now until it's dry. And I'm gonna continue with these two spreads. Uh, it's very plain now. So I was thinking I'm gonna add there some uh, of these kind of like photo mats. And I would like to create a nice spread and also create on this basic papers pockets where I can stack something so I do have here these uh, photo mats and one envelope and also that uh, focal point on on the top and first I was thinking I'm gonna place it this way it can be placed this way but it's not actually what I like the most so I'm gonna place my photo mat on the edges like if I will imagine this as a picture on the wall I do have one photo mat here one photo mat here and my basic point my focal point will be in the middle will be that catching eye thingy right in the middle between them just like this so it's kind of like continuing so first what I will do I'm gonna glue that photo mat right here and glue it so this is gonna be here now I'm gonna glue the second photo mat it's gonna be here
Now I'm gonna prepare my focal point, which will be this envelope. And this, I'm gonna make it as a pocket from the top. That way, here I will don't put any glue on this side and I will put glue on all other three sides. Now I can glue my focal point right here and I'm gonna try to glue it just between these two so this spot will be perfect and I would like to have there also uh, visible that print this print I would like to have just a small amount here so I'm gonna glue it kind of in this position I'm gonna flip over this one to make sure I will don't get glue and any glue on my photomat <clears throat> and I'm gonna add the glue on my envelope hopefully I'm on the right spot and I forgot to distress these two <clears throat> pages it's good I didn't glue them down yet so I can distress it so I do have prepared basics for these two pages and I would like to make there another two pockets uh, when I will open this I would like to have here a slot where I can uh, slide something inside and same is here when I will open this and this I would like to have here a slot where I can stack something in there and uh, the color which I will choose will be this orange uh, this striped orange page I will put right here and from that color I'm gonna continue on this side with the slot here and on this side with the slot uh, underneath so it will looks this way where I will see a little bit peeking out that pattern and then when I will open it here I will have that pattern as well so this way I will glue these strips down <coughs> first I'm gonna cut the corners with my paper punch now to make sure I will make a nice position the right position I'm gonna draw a line so I can see it here I'm gonna grab my ruler and place that ruler you know here I'm, I can measure how far it will go so I think this way and make sure that I do have that ruler uh, with the horizontal uh, to, to match the horizontal way of, of my drawing and I can place there this strip first I will distress the edges to kind of finish that look of that strip so here I'm kind of helping myself with those griff with that graph to keep my ruler straight and I'm gonna slide this strip to that ruler watch these two sides if they are kind of similar and place my paper and I'm gonna have a look how wrong good it looks good so same way I'm gonna do it with this paper I'm gonna open it draw the line here right next to my envelope because I know I would like to see this strip next to my uh, envelope here and it looks this way so I'm gonna put this back and just check that's too much okay we're gonna move a little bit Yes, I think I will like it this way. So I'm gonna prepare this strip. I should have it prepared already. Take off that backing from my double sided tape. Hold the ruler. And now again, I will try to keep eye on this and this end to make sure this is kind of like in the middle ish doesn't have to be exactly and I 
do have placed my strip. I'm gonna press both of these. I'm gonna grab my pencil one more time and I'm gonna draw a line on the end of this strip and there I will cut the entry for the pocket same I'm gonna do here here I know it will be in that orange uh, orange stripe so I'm gonna grab my ruler and knife and in that position I'm gonna cut the entry and I do have nice entry to that pocket from this side as well so now I can glue my papers down and when you are putting the glue on the papers like this where you do have a slot for a pocket just remember you that you will need to create the pocket here so keep the hand maybe take keep the hand in your pocket maybe take a pencil and you can make a mark where you will put a glue that around your hand if you are not sure just make a mark this will be not visible you can draw around as much as you want just make a mark that here 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 and all this I can glue down because this is pocket if you are not sure and the same with this one if you are not sure where to place a glue just place it on your paper imagine where there will be your pocket slide there your hand and draw around this will be my pocket here so around that I should put a glue and this will be not pocket so all this will hold the glue and then it will be much more easy for you to put the glue the right way so I'm gonna glue my two pages so I do have papers on every single one of these pages I do have prepared also front page for front cover and the back page for back cover so now I'm going to go through to every single page and tell you quickly what I put first and uh, what I placed next and what I did for uh, that starting of emboss or, or of uh, those embellishing those pages yeah embellishing those pages so this first I do have file folder as a base envelope as an extra pocket distressed envelope uh, first I cut this strap paper I slide it in draw the shape of that envelope cut the strip about two inches wide glue it down that off cut from here I used to decorate the flap of that envelope it was very small piece so I extended with the same pattern I used for extra two pockets these two pockets they are from one sheet uh, I cut it the sheet of this one inch uh, bigger than is the size of my pocket I scored half inch here half inch here half inch on the bottom these uh, fold folds are holding my pockets before I glue it down I added that sewing effect also sewing effect in the middle to kind of make sure I have the two pockets and I definitely did video when I'm creating this one because I do remember I glued that down and I forgot to glue it in the middle so I definitely did process with this one on the next page we do have here this spread so that was very easy I did cut the shape of my decorative paper in the shape of that file folder before I glue it down I glued this mat over the edge I made sewing effect all around 
Then I glue it down on my file folder. And as a last thing, I glued down this envelope with the focal point card. And I made another pocket using that focal point card. This was totally easy. I just cut the paper in the size of the page, glued the mat on that paper and then just glue it down. Here I had the off cut. As you can see, it's very small strip of this spider spider web. And because I wanted to continue that pattern, I used that off cut to create this strip here. And then from this stripe paper, I just create a pocket. And before I did glue it down, I sewn all around of that paper, then I glue it down. Here it was easy as well. I just cut the stripe paper in the shape of my tab, glue it down and on it. I used one of these small envelopes with that focal point card and I will have pocket from here because I used that <coughs> focal point card, pardon me, focal point card like an extra pocket. Here I had piece of this stripe paper so I uh, cut it in the side. I had just really small stripe strip. So you can see this is the bottom of my paper. So I did sewing effect all around. I did cut it in this size of my page. I did sewing effect all around. Glued that photo mat on it and glued that paper. No, no first, sorry. First, <laughs> what I did, I glued down this my envelope on that base page on that file folder. That was first what I did glued down. Then I glued this stripe paper on it. And then from this spider web, spider web uh, paper, I cut the piece uh, one inch bigger than is this size. I scored half inch here, half inch here, half inch here. And those half inch folds are holding my pocket here. Before I did glue it down, I just saw with my sewing machine this pattern. Then I just glued down. So I do have pocket from here and these folds. And this was similar like my first envelope. I used this striped paper, kind of like off cut from here to create this entry to my uh, to my pocket here the off cut from creating this shape the off cut I used again uh, on the flap of my envelope as an um, uh, kind of like decoration and because it was again it was small so I extended with the same paper I used for the pocket and the creating that pocket was exactly same like before just before I glue it down I added also sewing effect all around then I glued that down and this is again envelope and here before I glued down that envelope I wanted to have this paper because it was kind of like too many different papers as you can see here I do have those spiders stripe paper uh, calligraphy paper. Here is striped paper, but not this one. Here is different one. So I wanted to match it all together. That's why I put this spider web paper here in the background to kind of put there something what will put all these together. And then I glued my envelope on these two, three sides. So here is extra pocket. Here is another pocket. And here is another pocket. Here I do have, uh, first I cut it, this calligraphy paper in the shape of my file folder. Then I glued uh, this photo mat on that paper. And then I took two strips of this stripe paper. I glued them down and I created those entries for the pocket. And then I glued that paper down. Because I used this stripe paper here, I used that stripe paper here to create, you know, kind of like matching all together. And I used the same stripe paper in 
this pocket here and this pocket here to creating these slots i showed you how to do it and how to think about putting the glue here it was very simple first i glued on my page this envelope then i uh, cut this paper in the size i need this uh, spider web i glued photomat first then i made sewing effect all around and glue it down and then from this laboratory papers i cut the piece for my uh, for my pocket here again one inch bigger than is this size of paper so one inch bigger scoring line on this side and this side and those folds are holding my pocket here and before i glued that down i added that sewing effect i think i said that sorry for the <laughs> Here I wanted to use the same paper here. So I wanted to use the same paper here, but I had only small piece, only that big piece, and I wanted to use it. So what I did, I used that piece. First, I glued to that piece, this photomat. Then I glued that piece on my paper, and I will show you it's not big. It was just this part of paper. And to make sure I will have some way to put it all together, I glued that paper kind of in the middle. Then I cut from this stripe paper two strips. I placed them around and then from same paper I cut it envelope, uh, pocket. So that way it's kind of like making frame all around of that piece of paper I had in my stuff. That was, I think it looks really cute. And it was good, good usage of my kind of like uh, scrap paper. And here, oh, see, I forgot to glue it down. <laughs> okay, here I will have to glue it down. Uh, first, I cut it from that stripe paper shape of my file folder. Then I cut it the slips for my tags in that pattern and I didn't put a glue between as you can see I can go with my tag through to that paper till the bottom so I just cut those you know those slides and I do have there three slots for my tags uh, before I glued that down that paper I added sewing effect just on this side then I glue it down. I put the glue just around that paper. So I do have three slots. And because this had this kind of like uh, inside top here, I decided to create bigger pocket behind. So from another scraps, I glued two scraps together and then added sewing effect all around and then I just glued those two scraps as an extra pocket here. This I <laughs> don't have it glued yet. Maybe I can do some extra pocket here something you know maybe some kind of slot and for that I will have a look if oh yeah I do have here this paper so I will do slot using this paper this time to kind of match it all together because that spider web it's here it's here and it's here so i'm gonna kind of match it all together using again that spider web paper and create maybe two slots or one big pocket i will see and here is again altered envelope And I did it exactly the same way like I did that front, uh, that first envelope. And here on this page, I wanted to try to put two mats together. So first what I did, I cut it, the pattern paper in the shape of my file folder page. Then I glued on that pattern paper these photo mats. Uh, then I glued this one before I glue it on that file folder. Then I glued this envelope and I was thinking uh, for some closure, it will be good if I will actually add there something already now. So I used one of these tags, 
basically you have here I just ripped off the that bottom part and cut it a little bit shorter folded it in the size where I can fit you know right next to this envelope I glued that around those photo mats on that patterned paper and then all this composition I glued on my file folder page so all this I put on that patterned paper before I glue it down and here because I had so many of these kind of like strips those off cuts so I decided to use them on one page they were uh, they were bigger wider so I just scored half inch on each to fit in this page and I started to glue from the top pocket so I do have every single of these strips as an additional pocket you have it tuck so every single of these strips are additional pockets and they are exactly in the same size so I just glued them on this page those off cuts and this one we just created together so I don't have to explain you what I did here and this is just altered uh, altered envelope which I decorated you know the way I can put it together with this uh, with this kind of like pocket because I do have that uh, shabby chic paper here on that frame I used same shabby chic paper here to create those pockets and because I do have that uh, calligraphy or you know yeah that calligraphy paper in the bottom I used same paper here to kind of match it all together so I think <laughs> this is quite a lot I hope you did enjoy this part of Halloween folio creation. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you do like this video, please share that uh, with your friends on your social medias. Help me to grow this channel. It will be so much appreci appreciated on my end. And I will be very, very thankful for that. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.